How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. We have to take a look at Wall Street bets today because they are, should I say, disrupting the stock market right now. I did a video on this yesterday, a little bit more in depth, but I wanted to talk about what they're doing, talk about some of the stocks that they could be influencing next. And actually, I want to give a shout out to JJ Buckner because he did a video like this yesterday. But I want to give an update because uh, there are three main stocks that Wall Street Bet seems to be targeting right now. And I also found an article, the one that JJ talks about, about some other stocks that are highly shorted right now and kind of walking through what could happen. So I'll tell you about the stocks that are blowing up right now <laughs> that Wall Street Bets is going after a little bit further into the video. But first of all, I want to just talk about what they're doing. So if you don't know, Wall Street Bets is kind of a YOLO, uh, kind of a YOLO group of investors that are buying options, are uh, buying really risky stocks, are going on leverage to try to get the biggest gains possible. And like I said, it's a YOLO community. People are willing to uh, bet, you know, money that will most likely go down to zero to get huge gains. It's kind of like playing the lottery a little bit. They were the ones that really went after Robinhood and used, you know, that infinite margin or whatever that was, 100x margin, 10x margin, whatever that was that that wasn't supposed to be an option on Robinhood and they exploited that. So it's it's a very interesting community and they are taking on major hedge funds. So these hedge funds are shorting stocks are causing stocks to go down artificially or, you know, just really pushing them down. And that can actually hurt, you know, people that have money in the stock, but they are making money while the rest of us lose money. So Wall Street Bets is trying to create short squeezes. If you don't know what short squeeze is, it's when a stock is highly shorted and it jumps up enough that these shorts have to, what's called cover their shares, they have to uh, actually get back into the company, stop shorting it, so then that causes the stock price to go up, which causes more retail investors to jump in, which causes more shorts to have to cover, and this is just a continuous cycle, and that's where you see stocks jump up in price very quickly. I mean, you can see 20, 30% moves within a few minutes. So, they are targeting these stocks to try to beat out the large hedge funds and make a ton of money themselves. I saw someone post in here that they made $6 million from like a $100,000 or $200,000 bet on GameStop. Now, GameStop is definitely the most well-known one that they're doing right now. You can take a look. Just today, it's up 137%. Over the last month, you can take a look. It's almost a straight line up recently from two weeks ago. It is up 1,600%. This is GameStop, not a very innovative company by any means, but they are exploding in share price right now. Now, some interesting things that have been happening, and before we get into that, if you guys don't mind just hitting the like button and subscribe, there is a link down there to Webull if you want some free stock up to $3,700 if you deposit $100. There's a link down there if you want to start investing in Bitcoin or some other kind of cryptocurrency. There's a link to BlockFi, and there's a link down there to Patreon if you want to know exactly what I'm buying and selling. I added to a penny stock today, and it's actually done fairly well since I added to it, so definitely check out that link down below. So getting back to it, we had Elon Musk <laughs> tweet out yesterday, Game Stonk, and the, this, the share price jumped up after that. We've had Chamath say that he was buying $115 February calls for a GameStop this morning, so some of the some big investors are kind of you know, shedding some light on the situation, talking about uh, what they think about it. And it seems like they're almost a little bit uh, excited for it or they think it's funny. Now, right away, obviously, we talked about GameStop. Another stock or uh, another handful of stocks, this is from Barron's.com. They're listed that have high short interest. There's Dillard's and they show 91% afloat. So uh, that's a very high amount. We have Ligand Pharmaceuticals, and then you can go down the line here. A lot of people are talking about Bed Bath & Beyond, AMC, and you can keep on going down. Now, AMC is the one that I'm seeing a lot, and this one's up 230 or 223% today. We also have EXPR Express Retail Business up 254% today. We also have GameStop up 135% today after being up a lot in the past. So we're seeing a lot of these stocks. We'll actually pull up Bed Bath & Beyond too. Uh, we're seeing a lot of these stocks just explode up in value. Now, uh, GameStop's or uh, Bed Bath & Beyond is also up 25%. So 
with any of these stocks, you have to be careful, right? This this is all fun and games and stuff. A lot of people are up a lot, but eventually, people, these retail investors, these Wall Street bets investors, I think will pull their money. Whether you know whether GameStop hits a thousand or whether it hits four hundred, at some point they're they're going to move their money out because they're trying to get huge amounts of money. So they might make up this money, but then they'll sell out eventually because they made a lot of money. Now it's time to move on to the next thing. So I would be careful. Like if you're not part of Wall Street bets or you're not you're not really investing in this uh, on the early end, this could be a very dangerous thing because I hate to see, you know, as more and more institutions maybe are shorting these, and I think less institutions are shorting them now because they're almost getting worried for this. But if they start to see it fall down in price a little bit and Wall Street bets maybe loses their focus and then they short it and make a lot of money, I'd be cautious because some people will get destroyed in this over the long term if they're buying now. So of course, do your own research. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor or anything like that. Just be careful. Be ready to risk your money if you're jumping in these plays. Now, I personally find it really interesting. I'm not trying to chase these stocks. I mean, when you think about it, this is really just gambling or, you know, maybe fighting fighting the institutions or something like that. But I personally want to take a very level-headed approach to my investing, and I'm not sure buying GameStop at $200 or $350 would be a good decision. For me, I'm not willing to do that. Now, I have been investing in some penny stocks. That is something that's you know, fairly risky, right? That is a fairly risky thing to do. Of course, I'm not investing a ton of money. Like I'm I realized I could lose the money, which is something that I'm willing to take a bet on, but I am investing in penny stocks. If you guys want to follow along, you can definitely follow along with the channel and see exactly what I'm buying in real time. If you check out the Patreon or I update on here every once in a while too. You know, I did cover TTOO yesterday and I did buy it around $2.50, I want to say. And it dipped a lot today. You know, with a lot of our penny stocks, they dipped a lot today. The whole market is down, except for it seems like the, all the money in the market went to these Wall Street bets plays. But I did add more at $2.15 today, and we're up a good 15% since then. So, uh, you know, I just wanted to give an update on that. TTOO or T2 Biosystems actually had some good news that came out, and they, they were able to change when they have to pay back a credit line. They also released preliminary Q4 results, which were really good. So if you guys want to see that video that I did yesterday on T2 Biosystems, I'll put it up here on the end screen. But in the end, just be careful. I mean, we're in a very hot market. Today's obviously a big down day, but it's a very hot market right now. It will have to cool off eventually. Now, I am a strong proponent that you should continue to invest, uh, you know, leading up into crashes, through crashes all the time, keep on investing. At least that's my opinion. But you have to be willing to, you know, go down and go red and continue to buy like TTOO. I bought more today, even though it was down a good 25% at one point, I was still adding because I thought there's still opportunity there. It did not change how the business model looked, in my opinion. So that's something that I would consider. Just make sure you're ready for that. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Again, I'll put up that video on the end screen about that penny stock that I bought yesterday, TTOO. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.